I know that the servicemen and women of Britain and of all the members of the coalition were proud to act in a just cause alongside their American comrades. A small but loyal crowd began arriving two hours early, braving threatening skies, hoping to catch a glimpse of the Queen. Among them, transplanted Louisvillian Melissa Hall. I used to be a big fan of the Beatles, and it just kind of carried over. I love English stuff and English royalty, and I just, I like it. She's just such an interesting person. I like her lifestyle. She's a very rich lady. And uh, the, the whole thing about being a monarch over Britain is very fascinating. At 3.20, right on schedule, the Royal Jet touched down at Bluegrass Field. This is Her Majesty's fourth trip to Lexington and is strictly unofficial. At the Queen's request, there was no ceremony, no dignitaries on hand as she stepped off the plane without her trademark hat. And really, to be quite honest, uh, it, it's up to Her Majesty herself uh, who she feels like it, uh, that she would like to maybe see here. The Queen was greeted by her hosts, Will and Sarah Farish, her racing manager, Lord and Lady Carnarvon, and seven-year-old Katie Birch, chosen by airport management to present the bouquet. Can you, can you tell us what she said to you? Thank you. <laughs> anything else? No. Did you say anything to her? No. <laughs> Security was tight. More than 30 police officers and Secret Service agents kept the crowd well away from the Queen. Although royal trips to Lexington have become almost commonplace, it's her fourth trip, Airport Police Chief J.D. Case says he can't afford to treat the event as routine. I'm always the one that is the uh, eternal optimist that everything's going to go right, but uh, I try to take a pessimistic view sometimes to, to make certain all bases are covered. Uh, again, we don't like to talk in terms of routine. We want to make certain that she her arrival is going to be safe uh, here at the airport uh, to and from the farms. The few dozen people who braved the security and overcast skies had various reasons for wanting to catch a glimpse of royalty. Well, she's very close to India, and since we're from India, we have great uh, regard and respect for the Queen of England. It's, it's not really like a once-in-a-lifetime thing, but it's a unique experience, and so why not? <laughs> this is strictly a vacation for Her Highness, resting up after two weeks in the U.S. and checking on her two horses at Will Parrish's Lane's End Farm. It's an event seven-year-old Katie Birch will never forget. She was chosen to present the royal bouquet. Katie's father is an airport employee. And I'm not really sure what the exact route was but or who selected or anything else, but when they came to me, we're pretty excited about it. And what do you think your friends are going to say? How fun was it? Fun. Fun? 